Turning now to the Trump presidency, President Trump traveled to a UPS airport hub in Georgia to tout his administration's plans to roll back environmental regulations. CBS 4's Natalie Brand is at the White House with details. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. The Trump administration moved forward Wednesday to weaken the 50-year-old National Environmental Policy Act, which mandates environmental reviews of major federal infrastructure projects, from freeways to pipelines. President Trump argues the regulations have blocked or delayed important infrastructure projects. We're cutting the federal permitting timeline for a major project from up to 20 years or more, hard to believe down to two years or less. Pro-business groups support the move, but environmentalists call it a giveaway to polluters. The president's visit to the battleground state of Georgia comes as presumptive Democratic nominee Joe Biden unveiled his plan this week for a clean energy future. When Donald Trump thinks about climate change, the only word he can muster is hoax. When I think about climate change, the word I think of is jobs. The former vice president's 14-page proposal intends to create millions of jobs in the auto industry and through government-backed construction projects. Biden also calls for a carbon-free power sector in 15 years. The Trump administration and the Biden proposal follow two completely different tracks. Professor of environmental law Robert Glicksman of the George Washington University says historically the two parties have opposing views of environmental protection's impact on the economy. In general, the Democrats are more concerned with environmental protection considerations than the Republican Party has been. The Trump administration's move Wednesday is expected to draw legal challenges from environmental groups. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. In a statement, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce applauded the Trump administration's action, saying it returns the National Environmental Policy Act back to its original intent.